and welcome back to Let's Play Ever Oasis. Alright, time for bed. So yeah, we need to throw ourselves a novelty festival. Unfortunately, I think I'm like one stamp short. Because I accidentally put it on the wrong card. Whoops. I just want to double check that real quick. Oh wait, I think someone's here. Oh hey! Is that Sol? Oh yeah, he did come back. Yep, that's him. We'll go see what he wants in a minute. But yeah, let me see. I think I'm like one stamp short of the novelty festival. If that's the case, we have a bit of time to kill. We need every stock, uh, everyone anyways. Uh, I think it's in my inventory. Oh yeah, we're one stamp short. Because I accidentally put it on a gourmet card. Alright, fine. We'll just have to restock everyone until we get some more. Alright. Let's head off to the town square then. I could just fast travel there. But I do also want to stop by the garden real quick on the way. Uh, just to see if anything's growing right now. And I don't think there's anyone else in town that we have to worry about. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, that's right, I forgot. We grew another tree, didn't we? Goody. Alright, let me see something. Uh, can't do that because we don't have a bread shop, and can't do that because we don't have a shaw shop. Okay, never mind. Can't really do much with anyone uh, new right now. Oh yeah, everything's ready to be harvested. It's probably been ready to be harvested for a while now. Whoops. Alright, what do we want to plant then? Let's plant some corn, and then the other one I guess we'll plant maybe oats or something. There's nothing in particular I really need right now, so I'm just gonna plant whatever. As long as something is growing, we're good. Let's plant onions instead. There we go. Anyways, new tree. Uh, what does this grow again? Camilla apples. Okay. Oh, wait. Wasn't that, like, one of the things we could use to restock the fruit shop? You know, I'm gonna go check on the way to, uh, the front square. Whoops. Wrong shop. Actually, while I'm here. Uh, might as well wait, wait. Oh, you do have a stamp for me. No, nope, you don't. Never mind. I lied. Oh, I don't have any fur- ooh. We're actually all completely out of fur balls. Uh, I might just spend the day going out and gathering more supplies in that case. Small flower petals. Yeah, we're gonna need to gather some supplies. Here, we'll, we'll just restock through the, like, front entrance. Now, the question is, what do I need? Oh, wait. Do I have enough money to- Oh, that's right. I also wanted to build a bookshop before we- Throw the novelty festival. Uh, let's see. Fabric. Yeah, I want the bookstore. We're gonna need about 300 more. Okay. But yeah, that's right. Because I want as many novelty shops as possible during the novelty festival just to maximize profits. Okay. Those two newts were trying to run into each other. Good for them. Anyways, Soul's here. It's been like a day, I think. Yeah, I think we just went to your uh, place like yesterday. Alright, well, new resident. We don't even have to do anything with him. You always get like the first of every single race for, uh, for free, basically. Just to make sure you can progress through the game. Alright, another non-seedling. Actually, do we have enough for another team yet? Oh, I think actually we're one short. Also, the Oasis is ready to level up. Let's go level up in a minute. Let me see, do I have enough for another team? No, not yet. I think I'm like one short. Okay, that's fine. That means we can just take Soul with us from now on. Oh, before I go. Uh, how are we doing in terms of stalking? Is there anyone close to... Ooh, you're kind of close to... Get... Uh, I need snake skins. Okay, yeah, I'm actually starting to run really low on materials. We're probably gonna need to gather snake skins and fur balls. Cactus pulp, spider thread. 
Actually, you're really close. We have plenty of cactus pulp, at least. Yeah, I think I might just head right outside and start uh, gathering some fur balls then. Snake skins, I guess we can leave it to the exploration teams for now. Or if we run into any snakes, we'll just kill them for their skins. Anyways, let's go level up first. Oh, and I should also stop by the back road, see if I can grab any money from there. But first things first, no, let's level up. Uh, hopefully we can get some- actually, we don't really need more room in the back- No, wait, no, yeah, we do need more room in the back road. I think this is just gonna be an empty level, though. I don't remember what we got for the actually wait, wasn't the last level an empty level up? I don't remember what we unlocked there. Alright, let's see what this does. Also, yeah, our tree is actually starting to get pretty big. Like at the beginning, it was a lot smaller than this and kind of leaning up weight. I think we have more okay, yeah, we have more room in the front road. Awesome. That means we can put the bookstore out there instead. Oh, wait, and I think the garden, yeah, the garden just expanded. We'll go stop by there in a minute. Alright, that was actually a really good level. Also, the main square looks better now. It doesn't actually change anything in the main square, it just looks a lot better. The inn is now improved, the fountain's an actual fountain. And all the buildings just look a lot better than before. Yep, Fountain Plaza got bigger, Main Road got bigger, three more Boom Boots. I think the game didn't mean for me to be this high level at this point yet. Because we don't even ha we don't have the ability to recruit more people yet. Alright. Let's run through the back road real quick, see if I can grab some more money. Uh, some more recipes in case I want to make a wand. Do I want to make a wand? Nah, we're good. We could make some new bolas, too. And no one has money for me. Nope, no one has money for me yet. Alright, fine. In that case, you know what? Let's just go material hunting. We're gonna need to grab some fur balls, and we should probably wait until everyone uh, starts selling some stocks so we can restock them. And got some recipes for some new medicines. Awesome. Alright, so let's bring Soul with us. Where is he? There he is. Uh, yeah, we're just one short in terms of uh, making another exploration team. There we go. All non seedlings. Alright, let's head out. We need to grab some fur balls. At least those are like right next to the oasis. Whoops. But yeah, I think I'm gonna control Soul for, uh, for now at least. I really like how these guys control just because they hit. They don't hit very hard, but they hit fast. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. I want to lock on. Oh, you know what we haven't done yet? We haven't done like a hieroglyph dungeon yet. Also, we're kind of so strong that we're just going to one-shot everything. That's fine with me. Oh, we could try doing a Hieroglyph Dungeon at some point. Actually, yeah, this team wouldn't be too bad at Hieroglyph Dungeon. You know what, screw it. Let's go do a Hieroglyph dun uh, Dungeon. Or we're killing time. The closest one would be... Here, let's run back to the Oasis real quick. And then we'll warp to the entrance. Because, yeah, we did unlock the slabs a while back. Basically, the Hieroglyph Dungeons are a bonus dungeon you can use to grind experience and items. For the most part, they're pretty much... Oh, we got an achievement. They're pretty much almost completely optional. Like, the very first time I played through this game, I almost... I did, like, one. I think it was in Crawler's Cave. Actually, where was the entrance in this thing? Uh, not over here, that's for sure. Actually, I think it's like... I think it was in Rubble Tunnel. Oh, yep, here we go. I see it. 
So yeah, hieroglyph dungeons. Basically, we just need three hieroglyphs and we can get in. I mean, we'll be fine. We have healing items, right? I think. But yeah, the better slabs you have, the more powerful the enemies will be. Right now, I think we only have the most basic slabs available. Like the bronze ones. Yeah, we only have bronze ones. Ooh, wait. We do need snake skins. Uh, what else do we need? Actually, yeah, we kind of just need snake. Actually, we already have snakes in there. Let's mix it up. And beast. There we go. So snake, snake, beetle, beast. Let's see what we get for this one. But yeah, we could use some snake skins, so that might be a good way to grind them. Alright, let's take a look in here. Welcome to the Desert Labyrinth. I think they're all called Desert Labyrinth. Here, we'll just keep Soul on the front for now. Uh, actually, do I have healing items? We do. We have plenty of healing items. We're good. Actually, if we were gonna fight snakes, maybe I should have brought a spear wielder. Oh well. Too late now. Alright, so which room was this again? I think it's a white. Oh, it's a blue room. Alright, time to solve some puzzles. Let's see, what do we got here? Uh, we got some buttons. So yeah, basically every room is randomized of what you have to do to get through. Oh, that was easy. What does this button do then? Ah, it tries to kill me. Okay, that's fine with me. Alright, so this is a yellow door. I What's yellow again? Actually, no, green technically. I think this is a healing room. Nope, I lied. This is a monster room. Alright, got some snakes. They're all level 5, though. We should take them out pretty easily. Do they drop snake skills or snake skins? Huh. Guess they don't. Also, let's get rid of this chaos chest. If we don't get rid of it, it's just going to keep infinitely spawning monsters. Where'd it go? Also, Soul doesn't really have any abilities on him, just basic attacks. Why are my allies not helping at all? Uh, guys, there's a giant chest of chaos in front of us. You want to help me maybe kill it? Nope. Okay. Oh, hey, there's the snake skins. Alright, so I think we can just go over here and go up now. There we go. Oh, I forgot about these. So yeah, basically we get to choose what the next room is going to be. Do we want red or blue? I don't remember which one does what. Let's just pick red for now. Pretty sure this is just a monster room. I think blue is a would be a puzzle room. Oh no, red's treasure apparently. Man, I really need to do these more often. All right. So we need to find the one that isn't fake. I don't know which one's not fake. Uh, this one? Yep, found the real one. Alright, we can keep going then. Oh, time to fight some beasts. Actually, since we're using a sword wielder, that should be pretty good. Also, I see cacti. Normally, this is the part where the beasts attack me. Actually, they're probably all waiting up here, aren't they? Yep, here we go. Ah! Have we not- we've never seen these before, have we? Ow. Fortunately, they're not super tough. Like, that barely did any damage to me, actually, now that I- No, wait, no, I lied. That kind of hurt. Still, not too hard of a mini-boss. Well, that was easy. 
We could leave or keep going. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going for a little bit longer. Uh, let's go through the... Let's go to a puzzle room. Well, I say puzzle, but usually they're not too hard. Oh, wait, no, this isn't a puzzle room. This is a heal room. Okay. Uh, we didn't really need that heal, but eh, good enough. Let's do a couple more runes before we head back. Oh, wait, whoa, no, no, don't retire. I actually hit retire. Oh, what do we have here? Green or yellow? Let's go yellow. Alright, uh, looks like we're gonna need some green gales. Right after we take care of those, I don't have anyone with range attacks, do I? Nope. Okay, fine. Let's just, uh, get these things going. Basically, just gotta get them all spinning at the same time. Not too difficult. Especially when your allies just kind of stand in the way for you. Anyways, let's get up there and get rid of those stupid things. There we go. Oh, there are switches up here too. Do we want green or blue? Let's do green. Yeah, let's go green this time. We've already picked blue and yellow. Wait, did we pick green before? Uh, let's check the map. Also, we're about halfway. Yeah, let's just finish this dungeon off. I forgot you could see the percentage of the dungeon at the bottom screen. Alright, what's waiting for us in here? Monsters? Monsters. Somewhere. There it is. Oh, right, we can't really kill a while it's open. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore the monsters for now. Where's that stupid chest go? Wait, where'd it go? Oh, does it not? I uh, guess it doesn't come out until we kill these things. Okay, fine. There we go. Now, where did it go? There it is. I see it. Oh no! I uh, couldn't do enough damage to get to get to not spawn enemies. All right, a couple more swings like that. We should have this thing. Where to go now? Oh, does it just re I think it just respawns in these two same sp Yep, same two spots. Oh, now my allies are helping me for some reason. Let's see, so now it should have moved over... Not over there. Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, we do have enough uh, AP to trigger our skill if we wanted to. You know what? Screw it. Power up. So yeah, based on the main character's skill is always to buff his allies. Alright, so now it should have spawned... There it is. Come on, get up here. There we go. Oh, I guess the reason they weren't attacking before was because I wasn't locked onto the enemy. They were fine with me just wailing on it. Didn't want to help, though. Oh, another chaos chest. Come on, close for me. Oh wait, where did it spawn now? Uh... I don't know where it spawned. Did it spawn all the way on the other side of the map? Nope, there it is. Yeah, I guess it doesn't respawn until you kill all the enemies. I've never noticed that before. Oh, it already despawned. I was going to try buffing everyone to make them hit harder. Actually, I should probably do it before it comes up. Or, you know, they could get stuck on the enemy. That works, too. There we go. Alright, so that this room should be clear now. They can play with Spider Thread. 
Although snakeskin would be more helpful. Alright, we have a clear way to the exit now. What's waiting for us in this room? Uh, I think this is just a neutral room, actually. Because, yeah, the room isn't colored or anything. Although, that might change when I go downstairs. Oh, no, it's an exit room. We are three quarters of the way through. Let's just finish off the dungeon. So, I'm guessing maybe one or two more rooms. Because each room is like, what, 12-ish percent? Yeah, about two more rooms. Is this another neutral room or another... Oh, I think there's another boss room. It looks like a boss arena. Alright, what are we facing in here? Please don't... Oh, okay. I remember you. Alright, let's get rid of this guy. Just gotta attack his belly for massive damage. He is level 10. Oh, yeah. You know what? Let's switch over to Levi. He's more effective against this guy. Yeah, he's a lot more effective than our sword users. Still, I do want to be careful. Don't want to die here. That being said, he's not hitting as hard as I thought he would. Oh, no, don't. No. Oh, oh, never mind. I lied. I lied. We need healing. Uh, yeah, we have some vulnerabilities left. I need, I need to craft a couple more of those. Nope. Timed that poorly. Alright, we're about halfway through. Also, he's gonna try to poison us. And I don't think I have any antidotes with me. Actually, I probably should have attacked his tail while I was up. Oh well. Alright, a couple more combos should do it, but... Ooh, yeah, we took a lot of damage there. It's okay. But yeah, that is one thing about non seedling characters. Their lack of equipment kind of starts hurting them, like, mid-game if you're not careful. Usually you have to grind a few levels with them to get their equipment to go up, but it's dead. Still, they're pretty much nat- their stats are much higher naturally anyways, so... Overall, it doesn't really matter who you bring with you, as long as you have, like, one of every weapon type, usually. Anyways, that was the boss of the Labyrinth. How are we only at 83%? That's how we're only at 83%. Let's see what's through this door. And at some point we should probably warp back. It's already 5.20 in the morning. We'll grab the treasure and go. Alright, what do we got here? But yeah, that was our very first uh, Hieroglyph Dungeon. Not a bad run. Alright, got some Luminescent Stone and a Bronze Flower. Ooh, an ancient, ancient Ring. But yeah, you can get some pretty good treasures out of these. I assume. I think the only one I ever did was like... I forget if it was Bronze or Silver. And at least we got some Snakeskin out of it. I wish we had gotten more though. But yeah, maybe we'll try another one when we get some like Silver Slabs or something. Anyways, we should probably head back. We were out all day and all night. Hopefully the stores are ready to be restocked now. And hopefully we have some money available to us so that we can uh, finally throw that festival. Uh, not enough for another level. Oh well. What the? Oh, is it 6am? It's 6am. I guess we just kind of pass out at 6 a.m. Yeah, we just kind of passed out for a minute at 6 a.m. Uh, no new travelers. Plenty of newts, though. Let's grab some money. Is that enough money yet? Oh, yeah, that's enough money. Let's build that bookshop. 
I'll put it over here on the main road somewhere. Here we go. We have plenty of room now. All right, Isaac. It's finally time. Get your stupid books out and get ready. We are going to sell a ton of them. I hope not. Worms would be horrible for these tree for these buildings. They're all plants. Yeah, worms would be horrible actually for this oasis. A bad worm infestation could pretty much eat everyone's boots. Anyways, uh, bookstore. What do you need? You need fresh bark, apparently, and I don't have any. I think we can get those out of the woodsy. Yeah, we can get those from the woodsy. Alright, in that case, we'll probably head over there and grind some materials if the explorers didn't bring back anything good. Wait, do I have enough money to fund another expedition? I should. I think I still have a couple hundred left. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, good. Big success. What'd you bring me? Please tell me you brought snakeskin. Oh my god, you brought 20 snakeskin. Okay, you're my new favorite team. Oh wow, they're both big successes. No levels though. What'd you bring me? Small flower petals. Oh my god, what the? That is 30 snakes, or 36 snakeskins. Okay, never mind. We have way too many snakeskins now. Uh, just go get me some fur balls. Where should I bring you? Oh, wait, we need fresh bark. Yeah, just go get me some fresh bark, too. Alright, there we go. Alright, and then let's see if anyone uh, needs to be restocked right now. Fur ball, yeah, you know what? Just restock everyone for me. Are they one ready for a stamp yet? Oh, whoa, oh, oh, hello there. That is a stamp. Let's go get ourselves a stamp. Uh, that was the ball shop. I think that's over here on the main road. I think. Uh, bookstore. Scar, veggies. Where's the ball shop? Oh, wait, did I put it in the back road? That might have been one of the ones I moved to the back road. Balloons. Tasty Yeah, I think I moved to the back road. Okay. Uh, let's just warp over there then real quick. Even though it's actually not that far of a walk. Actually, it might have been faster just to walk there. Hey, right, money. Oh, wait, here we go. Ball shop. Yeah. Alright, let's get that stupid stamp. Put it on the novelty card, please. Alright, so we have the approval of all the shopkeepers. We're throwing a festival next time. But yeah, we'll do that next time. I want to make sure everyone's fully stocked up, all my plants are in order, and then we're going to throw that festival and get a ton of money. And probably reinvest that money back into the Oasis. Oh, and weren't we waiting on someone who wanted a festival to come over? Uh, let me see. That's right. He wanted to come over when we had a novelty festival. Alright, so we're going to get another resident then. Oh, another non-seedling. So we should have enough for three expeditions at the same time. That being said, if I do that, none of them will be in my party, but we'll see. But yeah, that's it for this episode. Next time on Let's Play Ever Oasis, time for another festival. So, till then.